Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for jumping in and, uh, and uh, joining us on today's video. 71 Cuda, legendary muscle car, awesome style. Uh, as we walk around, you know, this is the problem too with these cars is that 71 was the last year really for some performance. And um, I don't know, the styling treatment on these, I just think that this is like the best job Mopar did on virtually any car they ever built. And uh, we'll walk around, I think, that, I don't know, you tell me what you think. One nice thing about this car in particular is the fact that this is really how this car rolled off the showroom floor. Correct colors, matching numbers engine, matching numbers transmission, correct rear end. Virtually everything inside the car is correct. I'm doing this video a little bit early uh, because the new valve covers came in, which are the correct ones that go in the car. So my Mopar performance, we like to keep these things as bone stock as possible. Uh, we have the correct battery for it. And we also have the uh, inflatable spare. None of, that, none of those items have been put in yet. But know that if you decide to buy this car, uh, that those items will be on the car when it arrives at your door. Also, speaking of arriving at your door, you know, these cars come with free and closed door-to-door -door shipping at the offered price. Uh, and what that means is we've gone through the car front to back, making sure things like turn signals, headlights, all those things are working on the car. The oil change, the coolant's been checked, the transmission fluid, the rear end, all those things have gone through the car to make sure that it's ready to go when it hits the street. So. Uh, we put a temporary tag on the back, gas in the car, so when the tractor trailer shows up at your door and all your friends and neighbors come out and go, wow, man, what'd Jimmy get, what'd Jimmy get? And this car backs out of, the, out of the trailer, and when you hear this car run, it's got a little more performance in it than the typical 340 did uh, in 71, which I like, even though it's a matching numbers car, it's got a little extra juice. When that car backs out, all you need to do is take whoever it is you wanna go and go for a drive. It's ready to go. You don't have to take it to your mechanic, get it all checked over and things like that. It's ready to drive, okay? All right, styling feature, 71 fender vents, awesome piece, awesome piece. Siege grater grill, another great piece. Sport hood, I mean, that's just a good looking muscle car, man. They did a great job. I love the squared off quarters in the back and the billboard stripes with the call out on them for what motors in them. Look at how nice that looks. The paint on here is really, really nice. I haven't even gotten into the paint yet, but you can just see this is fluorescent lights and it will show all the imperfections on the car. And it's very difficult to find many. So come on up here, let's check out some paint for a second. This is the roof. I mean, just look at the quality of that paint. You know, if you're out there and you guys are looking online at these cars, man, make sure you can see a video. Pictures hide a lot of stuff. I buy a lot of cars and uh, pictures hide things. If you can't see everything, you can't see like, uh, like look at, I don't know if you can see the name on the jacket. You need to be able to see what jacket brand that guy's wearing. You need to be able to see his watch. Like what time is it? You need to see exactly what he looks like. The leaves on trees need to be absolutely crisp. You need to be able to see them perfectly. If you can't see that, the paint is not gonna arrive there the way you think it is. So, I throw that out there. Couple nice options. We got the 15 by seven rallies. Inside we got disc brakes. We talked about the tires earlier. This has the BF Goodrich radial TAs. So it drives a little bit nicer than maybe uh, the belted tire came with, uh, with earlier. Okay, detailed uh, fender wells. Let's move under the hood for a second. We got the sport hood with a nice call out on it. This is a good little piece. One of my all time favorites are hood pins. I love hood pins, I don't know why. But just like, I guess because you can't get a car today with hood pins. So we do have the correct uh, battery coming for the car with the covers and caps and everything. But this is really nice. Check out the manifolds, the HP manifolds. Right air cleaner on here, correct clamps. Got the correct radiator in the car. Fender tag still on here, which is really nice. We have a build sheet with the car. Nice documentation. We'll show you that also. A couple more styling features. Check out this, the louvered taillights. Nice upgrade there. I love the way the exhaust tips come right out of the valance. Go Wing is awesome. Everybody loves it. Well, you know, I shouldn't say everybody, but most people love the Go Wing. Okay, so here's a couple things. So this is actually how it's gonna arrive at your house, all right? So this has uh, an upgraded, uh, <laughs> A torque converter in it, so it uh, has a little more stall than the factory one, okay? And I'm just taking this out, because I want you to see the trunk. This is the original intake manifold, the four barrel. This has an upgraded carburetor and intake manifold. All the original parts come with it. Spare tire's been put in it already. Trunk mat is there. It's all painted and detailed in the trunk. Look at the paint in here. We talked about the performance of this car. The motor's been done uh, to more horsepower than the factory call-outs on it. Uh, uh, was suggest. Uh, it's got a great sounding cam in it. It's got the upgraded uh, intake manifold and carburetor. 
Also, we talked about the stall converter. It's got an upgraded stall converter. It has an upgraded set of uh, a ring and pinion. 391 gears in there, okay? It's just, uh, it's all the things that I would love to do to a car, keeping it bone stock, but just adding a little more horsepower and a little more snap. So uh, uh, they're nice because you kept, uh, you kept everything kind of stock and uh, without any worries about, about the details of that. So here's an intake manifold. And it's funny, man, because this thing weighs a ton. Oh, one other thing too. This has uh, an upgraded radio. It's a stock radio, okay? Uh, but it has some modern guts inside of it. So uh, it makes it actually kind of nice. You can get some modern conveniences with this radio. Uh, we can put that in for you if you'd like, but uh, I just wanted you to know that's in the trunk here too. So you get the, the digital details inside uh, with some pretty good sound. All right, let's move inside the car for a second because uh, you know these were great cockpits for the time. You're talking circa 1971, all right? This has uh, a couple nice things. One of them is a slapstick shifter. And uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it before. Some of you guys know exactly what it is, but it's really nice. You just pull it back into first gear, hit the gas. Uh, when it's time to shift, you just smack it in a second. You can't, it won't go any farther. You can't miss a shift, okay? Then you let it fall back just a little click. You'll hear a click. It's ready for your shift in the third. Smack it again, and it won't go any farther. And there you are. All through your gears, factory shifter to keep it nice and safe and keep the RPMs in line. Nice glove box, fence, mats, all new interior, nice dashes all black without being cracked and dry rotted, full gauges, everything in here just uh, all restored like the rest of the car. Nice. I really like this one. I love it. Awesome with the console. It's got seat belts. Uh, the door panels are all very nice. Justin, get a shot of that if you don't mind for everybody, how nice that door panel looks. You know, you can spend a few thousand bucks on an interior, especially on these dashes. You know, these dashes can run a thousand dollars and they want a core on top of it. This is nicely done. Back seat's all done. Package tray. Headliner. Everything's just really, really nice. You know, the best part about this car, obviously, the styling is beautiful, but uh, uh, how it sounds is, is really great. I'm going to go ahead and start it for you in just a second. But, you know, some of the uh, quality of a restoration is indicative of things working, believe it or not. It takes a lot to get the clock to work, like the clock is working, all the gauges are working. Uh, we talked about the upgraded radio that goes in here that's uh, been modified inside itself, but it's stopped on the outside. And uh, I don't know, it's just uh, when you get to this kind of place with the matching numbers and everything, it's just a great, great car. But enough of my rambling, how about a starter for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about just the sound of it for a second because it's uh, very nice. Listen to that, man. <laughs> That's not stock. You know, in closing up a car like this, here's what we're talking about. We're talking about a car that's matching numbers, 71 vintage model. Can't be a lot of these left. With performance upgrades, which I like because you can't even see, so that's kind of even cooler. It's got a fender tag. It's got the original broadcast sheet. Uh, it's got receipts for the restoration. It's just a, uh, uh, this is the kind of, this is the kind of car you buy that, that, you know, I don't want to say guarantees it goes up in value for the rest of your life, but this is the car that's marked to do that. And right now, uh, Mopars are at, uh, at one of their lowest prices ever in the last, uh, you know, five or six years, and they're poised to go back up again. So if you can find a way to get this in your garage, do it while you still can, because it's an awesome, awesome car, and it drives even better. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.